hello hello and welcome back to another video and today i'm just going to be showing you guys how i do my everyday makeup for the most part and if you guys are new here hey my name is stephanie and i do videos of disney and lifestyle make sure to give this video a like comment down below click that red subscribe button and also turn on post notifications so you guys know when i post next so before I start anything, I always clean my skin with um, micellar cleansing water. It's uh, by the brand of Simple and it's cruelty free and it's for all skin types and there's no harsh chemical. And I use this in place of makeup wipes because makeup wipes tend to dry out your skin and they're also not very good for the environment. But let's be real honest, to be honest, I am still kind of contributing to trash because of the pads that I'm using. But I'm hopefully going to change into a lint-free cloth in the future or just reusable makeup pads. Alright, so I'm just going to continue to get all my previous makeup off so I can start fresh and clean. And now I'm just trying to dry out my face. And then next, I'm going to go in my face primer, which is by Wet n Wild. So I'm just going to spread that all over my face and it takes away the shine and oil. If you guys don't know already, I have very oily skin and this helps the makeup stick on better. So now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal True Match Blendable Um. I guess foundation the classic tan and seven and this works so perfectly and I love it because it's true to my skin and I'm using the neutral shade but they have warmer tones and cooler tones for your skin type and I got this at Target but you can find it at almost any store and to be honest I normally don't apply foundation to all of my skin and I'm not sure why I'm doing it but who knows maybe it was just for the video but mostly I just spot check and put foundation where I need it the most so now I'm just trying to blend it even more so I can get, you know, even. Now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Concealer and this is also cruelty free and I got this one at CVS but you can get it at Target and almost all big name stores. Now I am just blending it even more. Alright, so now I'm going to use a spoolie just to shape my eyebrows because I'm going to be doing my eyebrows next, which is my favorite part. I'm using the Eyebrow Pencil by CoverGirl. This is honestly the best eyebrow pencil that I've ever used. It works perfectly. And then later I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Eyebrow Powder. And this is just to fill in my eyebrows a little bit more and make them more neater. And this is also cruelty free which I totally love, and also most of the Wet n Wild products are vegan as well. But I do not consider myself a vegan at all. A little fun fact, on average I spend about 5-10 to 10 minutes on my eyebrows because I think my eyebrows need a lot of work, but also it's the first thing that people see when they, I don't know, look at me. So I feel like I should have them perfect. So now I'm just going to go in with more concealer from Wet n Wild under my eye bags because they tend to be a lot darker. So I'm just trying to lighten them up a little bit more. And then I'm going to redo, well I guess not redo, but just fix up my eyebrows a little bit. Then I'm going to be applying some concealer around them just to sharpen them up a little bit and to make them, of course, a little bit more neater. So yes, I am a perfectionist. Alright, and in just a little bit, I'm going to go in with my palette, and it's called The Warriors by Juvia, and I love this palette so much because I think it complements my skin color so much, and I think it caters to people of color more because sometimes other skin products or other eye shadow products don't really complement our skin color that well, and I think this one does a perfect job. And the color that I'm using is named Kano also have a lot of palettes that have more color to them but I got the neutral shade. Now I'm going to go in with my Revolution London eyeshadow palette. I'm not exactly sure why I got it but you can probably get it at Target and this is also cruelty free for anyone who is wondering. And I'm going in with the lighter shade and the shades do not have names so I'm not exactly sure. Now I'm going to go back to my other palette and pick up the color that is named. Ahosi. 
So now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Highlighter, which is from Wet n Wild. I think I just said that, but it's also cruelty-free and vegan. And I love this so much because it's super pigmented and a little goes a long way. So now I'm just trying to uh, blend out the pigment just a little bit because I put a little bit too much and it's super noticeable. So I try to fix that and correct that. So now I'm going to go in with my All May liquid liner that I've had since middle school. So pretty much almost six years. I should probably throw it out, but it still works really good. And I haven't had any problems with it. And in case you guys were wondering why I did that reaction, it was because I got some in my eye and it was stinging like crazy. Actually, I didn't get it in my eye, but I accidentally messed up. So now I'm trying to fix my mistake that I did from earlier. Doesn't look that bad. Now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, which is also, you guessed it, cruelty free. And I didn't really like this palette because it didn't go well with my skin tone, except for the lighter shade. But the darker shade just made me look really ashy. And I will show you guys next what I do to fix that and what palette I used. So I started using the color Kano in the Warriors palette because it complements my skin super well. So now I'm just trying to look for things to do or what to do next. But now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild highlighting powder which is honestly the best highlighter that I've ever gotten. And right now I'm just trying to open the new package that I got today. But the color that I use is Precious Petals. 321B. I think it looks perfect with my skin tone and it honestly it doesn't really require a lot and it's just so subtle and it's super beautiful when the sun hits it. Also you can hear my dog in the background barking like crazy so I'm sorry. I'm just applying some under my eyebrow but it actually looked really terrible so I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe that off. Out of the highlighter I used the jelly highlighter but again I put way too much so I'm like no. Nah. So this mascara is pretty popular it's by Wet n Wild. It's the Mega Length Mascara and it's only like three dollars when you get it at CVS but you can find it way cheaper at Walmart which is about I think two dollars and maybe even one dollar actually but it works and i got some in my eye which burned like heck but whatever next i'm going to go in with the maybelline new york great lash mascara which can be found at target and now i'm just going to be contouring my nose with the warriors palette and the Kano color uh, i think this works great for contouring at least for my skin tone and that's what i did to kind of correct the other contouring palette by wet n wild that i tried and i just let my dog in if you guys were wondering she was whining and complaining that she couldn't get into my room now i'm just blending things out and making sure there's no loose and i think this is the last step but i apply my lip gloss that i got at bath and body work and it's called the mentha limb tint and it has mint in it all right so this is the finished product uh i think it turned out pretty okay but i could have done better but anyways thanks for watching this video and i hope to catch you in the next one and let me know if i should do more of these all right adios